Today we are looking at a research project of mine, which is sublethal rates of dicamba on various group six soybeans. So typically with uh, dicamba injury on soybeans, um, to a lesser extent you'll see uh, cupping of the trifoliate, uh, especially during the time of exposure. And that's very common of oxen herbicides, especially of dicamba, which is pretty uh, injurious to soybeans. This was a lower sublethal rate or dose, and this here we would not expect any significant yield reduction to the soybean. And then more higher doses of dicamba, you'll see that there's really not much cupping because that's due to the death of the terminal axis or main node. You can see that the petioles are extremely swollen on this. Um, there's severe epinasty. Stem is completely twisted over like a candy cane. And also, you can note the woodiness of the stem and also a big canker also on the primary node. So in this plot, this is the highest rate. So it's kind of like your worst case scenario we have going on out here. Uh, you start seeing necrosis. So this is where the terminal would be, um, but obviously you have that death and then necrosis of the petiole or woodiness of the petiole. And then you start to see the suckering, the more bright green foliage is the suckering and that's where you start you get to your uh, more horizontal growth.